Is your mother in spirit? Yes. Okay. She's coming forward immediately. Um, mm -hmm. Was that someone that you were really wanting to talk to? Of course, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. you asked her to be here is what she says. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she <Sure> did. <laughs> mm -hmm. So she makes me feel like and says best friends. Were you guys really close? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, best friends. Yes. I almost feel like, do you look like her the older you get? Yep, absolutely. Nicole almost, she says. It's like she's looking more and more like me. Mm. So it's almost as though you are falling into her footprints. Do you often wonder if you're making her proud? Because she's like, she's making me proud. Um, yeah. So there's a lot of goodness coming from her. So it's almost as though... <laughs> She shows me intuitiveness too. Like she was tapped in some sort of intuitiveness. I don't know if her mother intuitiveness was on point because she's making me feel like when she walked earth, she knew things too. Mm -hmm. How special because you know things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 But I have to ask, uh, she shows me faith-based. So was she faith-based? She was, yes. And you're having, she shows me with you, you're having the split of spirituality and uh, religion? Yes. And I find that she's showing up with permission. So- What do you mean? It's not permission as in like, of course you have permission to do whatever you want. It's like a, supporting of decisions it's like a you should you should embrace spirituality that's what that is it's like yeah. a coming from a religious groundbreaking life to breaking through breaking free she says break free so you you had to have broke free from the conviction belt she did and then she returned to faith got it Okay, so so are you dealing with some sort of internal thoughts about what you, in, like your internal belief system? It's almost as though she shows me after she died, did you kind of explore more spirituality? A little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's almost as though you're being pulled for more. Obviously you're here. So it's like, you need to know that you are being pulled through a spiritual awakening. Mm. Yeah, like, that's been abundantly clear <laughs> so it's so cool um because you're being guided through that with her mm. and you needed to validate her soul coming from a walk of faith to make sure that you know that i'm talking on behalf of somebody that may not have said that on earth like explore spirituality where she probably would have been like this is the way does that make sense? Yeah. She shows me people flock to you and they talk to you about their problems and you don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's because naturally your soul will carry light because you're the light worker in the family. Um, that's why you feel things differently than most. And that's why you express yourself in different ways and that you have better control over your emotions because you know that that's not what this is about. This is about correction and realignment mm -hmm. and that you have the ability of breathing in and being able to acknowledge somebody in front of you with confrontation, with control. Mm -hmm. I am so happy for you on that because that is such a good place to be. There's some, um, so they're putting me, they're putting you in front of, um, did you, are you separated? I'm divorced. Okay, divorced, all the same, because that's what this is. You stood up to your narcissist. Mm. And, and that is the angry. That's the anger. You no longer allowed yourself to get angry when the narcissist was out of control. You said, I, that's not what, this is not, I'm, I'm done and we're done. Mm -hmm. and 
you pulled your emotions out before you pulled your physicality out because you knew like a couple years before or something. And it's like, mm-hmm. like I got to work out. I got to get through these processes, these stages and these phases. So was your mom in spirit when you were doing that? No. Okay. So somebody then is showing me. Is he earth side still? Yes. There's a male coming forward for you. Um, So is your dad also in spirit? I don't know. Interesting. Is there an, okay, I need to find out who this male is. Did you want to connect to a male? My, both my uncle and my uh, grandfather have passed. Okay, so he would be the brother to the mom. Yeah. See, I heard I'm the brother. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, that's, yeah, that's usually how that works. But to you, he's your uncle. Yeah. Okay, but because she's coming forward and he's with her, of course, I guess. So was he a good guy? Because I feel uh, like very, like, safe. Like, I feel like this, this, like, he's not here to hurt or harm. Like, good intentions. Yeah. Um, did he, okay, okay, so. They had me grab my chest. So did someone die from the heart, chest, lungs, heart? Yeah, my uncle. Was it the heart attack, like a regular day heart attack? It was a heart attack, yeah. Um, was he in the kitchen? I don't know where he was. Interesting. I just was taken to a kitchen. wasn't sure what that meant. Um, um, yeah, normally guys like that die like that. Because um, he was great. Um, I need you to know, because there's faith based coming at me again. So was he religious too? Like a pastor? He went to seminary school. Because this thread of religion is deep. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And then did your mom have the cancer? She had a tumor, yes. Mm -hmm. Is there a cancerous? Yes. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to confirm that that was that. Um, And you took care of her? At the end, yeah wants to thank you so much for the care and the sacrificing of your time because I she feels as though she never would have wanted to be a burden correct yeah and she feels oh I know that and you know that (laughs) (laughs) she's talking So she's making me feel like she's so grateful. And of course, I almost feel like it's like you meet her and of course she'll present this gratitude. Like it's almost as though like it's an unknowing it's, or it's a knowing. It's like a, it's like she just represents this glowing angelic energy. Um, she makes me feel like she had a hard life though. Like there was a lot of moments in her life that she had to really pull out of. Is that her? Is she talking about her life? Did she pull out of, or you? She's talking about you. So um, did you do, go to therapy? Did you do, did you use therapy? Mm-hmm. Because the threat of healing shows therapeutic correction. Um, it's, 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 um, the tetherment, it's you. So this is kind of cool because they're showing me this and this is what your healing thread looks like. And and the bob wire effect is the therapy. It's like a stitches. It's like mm. stitched. So that's why I was like, there's therapy there. This is, this is like surgery. This is, this is professional care. And so it's like, there's also trauma release in there. There's a uh, realignment with uh, response mechanisms. Um, there's new skin to old skin. So you're the white, not you're, you did the shadow work because you're white light. Now you're not dark anymore. So you're. Hi guys, it's Brandon Burton. Thank you so much for listening to a preview to one of my readings. You can access the full episodes by going to readingswithbrandon.com forward slash podcast. 
There you can subscribe and have instant access to past episodes and inner circle conversations. And I hope to see you there.